Okay, in this video we're going to talk about uh, tilde and variable ex expansion. So the shell uh, is basically a program that scans in uh, the commands that you type in and it makes certain replacements. Okay, so one of those replacements it makes, uh, these replacements are, are meant to make your life easier, right? So one of the replacements it makes is it if you have uh, the beginning of an argument starting with a tilde, so for example, ls ls tilde, right? This is an argument all by itself, and the first character is the tilde, right? That expands to your home directory, the absolute path of your home directory. So when I type ls tilde, now it actually expands out to the absolute path. That's like saying ls slash u1 slash class slash. Okay, so the shell expands this to this before the command is ever executed. That's one of the things the shell does. It modifies your commands because this is easier to type than all of this, right? And the home directory is used a lot. So we can demonstrate that this is true by using the echo command, right? We know the echo command uh, will just echo out whatever you type. So I say echo hello, right? If I type echo tilde, the tilde is the first character in the argument, right? We see before the command is executed, this is replaced with my home directory. And then the echo command echoes out that home directory, right? Also, tilde expansion works with other things beyond just your particular home directory. If you want to look at another user, you can say tilde and then that username, and then the shell, because the tilde is the first character in the argument, the shell will automatically replace that with the absolute path to that user's home directory. And so just like that, we see that the home directory of LMA is root u1 slash 5 slash LMA1. Okay, so this becomes important uh, for different programs. For example, we're going to keep using echo so we can, we can visualize whether or not the shell, uh, you know, performs the uh, expansion, right? So this is called shell expansion, tilde expansion, right? It expands this shortcut to something like that, right? So we're going to keep using that, but several commands have um, options that might be uh, path, and then you specify, you know, a path to a particular location. So this might be labs, right? So uh, we're just using the echo command as an example, and so we get the argument path. Right? And because this argument, right, this one right here, starts with the tilde, this gets this tilde gets replaced with the absolute path to my home directory. And then slash labs is right afterwards, so the shell just puts that right afterwards, just like that. Okay. So that is critical that you understand that this only happens if this is the first character in the argument. Some commands, it's common, where you might set a path uh, equal to one of the flags. So I might go hyphen hyphen path and use an equal symbol and then have a path over here to something that's important, some directory, right? Now the important thing to note here is we do not have the tilde at the very beginning of the argument, right? The very beginning of the argument is the hyphen character. Okay, so when we execute this, we see no shell expansion took place. Okay, so shell expansion only takes place if that tilde character is the first uh, character in the argument. Okay, so similarly, you know, we can have echo, and you might have a shorter, shorter one, slash labs like that. Okay, or you know, L main one. Okay, that would be another directory. All right. So uh, if you were going to use the longer style hyphen hyphen path and then set a variable equal to it like this this type of style this is not going to work out because that's no longer creating an absolute path to your labs directory right so we have to do something else so this gets into variable expansion okay there are environment variables in your system that you have access to one of those variables is dollar sign and uppercase home the dollar sign is a special character in the shell. It tells the shell whatever uh, 
alpha, alphabetical characters you're about to type next are part of the variable name. Okay, and so it will look up what that variable is holding and replace this entire thing, the dollar sign and the name of the variable, with uh, whatever stored in that variable. Okay, so by default, everyone has a home variable that stores their home directory. So here we see echo home. This section here was uh, swapped out for my home directory. And then I have a slash labs afterwards, and it just adds that in afterwards. Okay, so that's variable expansion. And if you want to look at what variables you have installed on your system, you can use the env command. And you can look up uh, near the top is usually where uh, your home variable is, path, user, uh, the shell, you can determine what shell you're using. Um, you probably won't use a lot of these, but this is uh, how you create, uh, or that's how you look at the environment variables. You can also create your own. You can say, I want to make a variable called foo and set it equal to foo foo. And now I can say echo dollar sign foo slash So I just created my own. These variables that you create yourself by the command line, uh, after you exit, they will cease to exist. So once you uh, exit your session on the CS server, uh, you'll have to define them again. Uh, and there, there are ways to, to make them persist, but we'll get into that later. But that's variable expansion and tilde expansion.